Hey guys, Dustin here from MyFreedomSmokes.com. Just doing a quick video today about the Joytech EVIC starter kit. Uh, this is a variable voltage mod made by Joytech, uh, which is something that, that I know a lot of people have been waiting for. Um, take a look at the box. It uh, reminds a lot of people of another very high dollar, high class uh, product. The uh, Apple iPhone comes in a very similar box. Um, pretty much all black with the picture of the product on the front. Um, so, so you can kind of see where Joytech is going with this. Uh, they want to be a, a high-end um, electronic cigarette uh, uh, mod device uh, in the EVIC. So let's go ahead and take a look at it here. Unboxing. Now this is a brand new kit, so I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. I can kind of see it comes, uh, comes right here on the top. Put that aside for a second. I mean, it looks very nice from the get-go. It's nice uh, stainless steel construction. Um, I think it's actually aluminum, I'm sorry. Uh, construction, stainless steel finish, uh, kind of brushed aluminum or, or, or something like that. Um, uh, but it's, it's uh, very solid. Uh, you can see this is the uh, little turning part. And this is the button here. The screen is actually on the opposite side. You can kind of see it glare there a little bit. Uh, down in there and we'll power it on in just a minute. Big nice opening up top here for all the clear misers and cartomizers and all of that good stuff that, that's out there on the market right now. I uh, haven't found anything that won't fit on here yet. Uh, as long as it has a 510 connection you are pretty much good to go. Um, the bottom cap on the end here uh, screws off. It does have a hole in it for uh, venting. Uh, in the case of thermal runaway with a uh, lithium battery there, so that's a good thing. All right, let's see what's el what else is in the box here. Uh, let's see, I'll get this little piece out. Uh, I'll put that little thing oh, don't drop it. All right, got a user manual here. Take a look at this bad boy. That's a little ridiculous, right? Yeah. Um, it is in like 17 different languages, so that's the reason it's so thick. The actual menu itself isn't that long, 15-20 uh, pages, somewhere in that range. Uh, covers the, the entire English portion, um, and that's the only language that I really know how to read, so that's the only one I will ever take a look at. But anyway, uh, that's the, uh, the manual. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. I've already played around with this thing a bit, uh, so I kind of know how to use it already. Um, this is a little manual about the My Vapor record, uh, kind of a user manual for that software. Um, it is downloadable from the Joytech website. That's just www.joytech.com. Uh, you can download the My Vapor record software uh, that you use along with the Joytech EVIC uh, mod starter kit. So um, you definitely want to get that. It, it, it tracks your your use of the device. Um, shows you how many puffs you take in, you know, what type of uh, uh, resistance, atomizers, and cartomizers, whatever you have attached to it. Um, lots of great information there for you um, and you can keep track of. So, all right, let's see what else is in here. All right, so we've got a couple more boxes here. There is a rechargeable battery, a USB cable, and a wall adapter. Um, let's go ahead and break these out. We'll definitely need the battery. Everybody kind of knows what the wall adapter is, but I will show you that anyway. It is the standard uh, 510, or, I'm sorry, Joytech uh, AC wall adapter. It is just a wall plug with a USB port on the other side, so you can plug a USB cable into it. All right, and then we've got the USB cable right here. Now this is just your standard USB to micro. I can get it to come out of the box. USB cable. So you've got the USB plug on one end, a micro USB plug on the other, uh, which actually plugs directly into the EVIC. Uh, you can see right there on the side, um, that's where the micro USB is. Uh, that's actually a little door. Uh, it's hard to get in there with your fingernail. I need, need something else to kind of pry it up. Um, which I don't have here with me, but uh, you just basically pry up that little door and it plugs right in right there. So it's really easy to do. That's how you charge the device. Um, uh, or you can use a separate wall charger if you have one that fits 18650 batteries. Um, but it's really easy just to plug it in and, and it charges up um, pretty quickly actually. So it's, it's really nice. So 
Um, but that's it. All right, let's go ahead and break out the battery. So this is a, a big part of this kit. Um, as you can see, it is a ICR battery, 18650 uh, Samsung uh, battery. Uh, why they chose to go with a different battery in this than they send with their uh, Ego T 18650 mods. Uh, I'm not sure, but that's uh, what they chose to do. So uh, this one actually comes with a Samsung battery. So uh, take a look here, putting it in the device. It's very, very simple. And actually, I'm just going to go ahead and take the whole device apart real quick so you can kind of see what it looks like apart. Uh, this is just the control head. This is the brains of the unit. It does all the work. Um, you've got the tube here with the cap on the end. Uh, like I said, the, the cap itself has a hole in it, um, so you can, uh, so it vents itself. Uh, with the spring, nice, nice spring there. Um, tube, pretty basic. Um, has a hole in the top so it can make a connection with the control head. That little button on the control head fits through that hole and makes a connection with the battery. So uh, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and put the battery in. So uh, the battery goes in the positive side, which is this side. She goes in this way. Uh, and then the cap screws onto the negative side of the battery. So. that down on here nice and tight there we go all right so it screws in there good put this on all right and now we're good to go now to turn the device on you basically click the button five times and that powers it on so you can comes up with a little screen there power on yes click it again to check yes and there we go uh, comes up uh, no atomizer find I guess that means found um, but there you go obviously it has the date you can program the date and everything into it um, uh, which is pretty neat uh, or you know toggle this uh, this button right here changes the voltage go back to the menu click the button five times you're back in the menu you have uh, several different options here, calendar, device, puff info, so on and so forth. Now I'm not going to go through the menu in, in great detail for, for one simple reason. Um, and that's because, uh, as you'll see here in just a second, this is using version 1.0 because it's brand new out of the box. Uh, Joytech has already released a, an, an updated version of the firmware, uh, which is also downloadable from their site, www.joytech.com. Uh, and just go there and download the upgraded version of the firmware. Um, it's really simple to install. You have to have the MVR, the Mave for Record software, on your computer because uh, you'll actually download that file and then put it into one of the folders for the MVR software. Uh, and then whenever you plug in your device and pull up the MVR software, there's a little button that says Upgrade My eSig. You click on that and it downloads right to the device. So it, it can't really get much easier than that. Um, and once you do that, it will be upgraded to version 1.1 uh, is what's currently out there. And I'm sure they'll, they'll probably make uh, uh, many more versions uh, fairly quickly because uh, they're, they're always uh, looking to upgrade and, and, and keep up with the times. Um, one of the, the great things that I've learned about the newest version, which I've been using for the last week or so, is not only can you adjust the voltage up and down, but it also gives you the ability to adjust uh, uh, by wattage. Um, so rather than, you know, say if you're using a, a, a low resistance atomizer uh, and, you, and you have to turn the voltage way down to, to use a low resistance atomizer uh, and then you put on something that has a higher resistance, you have to go through and, and turn the voltage way up. Um, it's kind of tedious uh, if you switch between different uh, different devices or different atomizers and cardomizers a lot. Um, with the wattage, you can set it, you know, set it at, at your favorite wattage where you feel like you get a good vape. Um, and then regardless of what uh, ohms the atomizer, since it reads the atomizer whenever you attach it, uh, no matter what ohms is attached to it, it uh, automatically adjusts the voltage for you so that it outputs the same wattage, which basically gives you the same vape. Um, 
uh, regardless. So if I have a 1.5 ohm atomizer and then switch to a 3 ohm atomizer, I will get the exact same hit um, either way as long as it's putting out the same wattage. So that's a really neat feature that they added and that shows you the power of, of what they can do by upgrading that firmware. Um, and so that's why I don't want to go through the menu a whole lot. Uh, just because some of the menu options have changed uh, by that firmware and, and will continue to change. Uh, one thing I do want to show you, you know, this is where you find the uh, how to check your atomizer. Obviously, I don't have an atomizer on here, so no atomizer find. You can also check the temperature of the battery. I'm sorry, the temperature on here. Let me actually put an atomizer on here so we can get some readings. It's just a random one I had ready here, so... I've got that on there, and now let's take a look. All right, so that one reads at 2.6, which is cool. All right. Temperature is 22 degrees. Okay, not exactly sure what that means, especially since it's in Celsius, and I don't use Celsius very often. Um, user info, I mean, you put in your own info there. Series number, this is like a serial number, and, and you could actually punch this number into the Joytech website and it will tell you it is a genuine Joytech EVIC um, which is pretty neat uh, version and that's pretty much it um, puff info not much here it just tells you how many puffs you took and you can set it to uh, uh, to your battery life and so on and so forth uh, there's standby mode um, now this is a setting you'll probably want to change rather than it going to standby every 15 seconds which is a little ridiculous um, you want to, to lengthen that um, for the screen I usually set mine to about 30 seconds uh, for the system itself I don't want it to turn off every three minutes because I don't hit my device that often um, so I'll set it to an hour uh, the battery life in this thing has been absolutely amazing uh, I've been using it uh, like I said uh, for, for many days. Now I, I keep plugging it in to play with the MVR software which charges it so I haven't really run the battery um, run the battery down yet but but from my estimation you know this battery is gonna last me at least four or five days um, uh, before I have to recharge it just based on, on my personal vaping um, and that's gonna differ from person to person so uh, but that's pretty much it uh, you know it's a really really nice device as you can see um, you know, you can screw whatever you want to, onto the top. I mean, it, and it's going to hit very well. And you just need to adjust the voltage to to wherever you want it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a puff real, real quick and, and kind of show you guys it. Yeah, and that was just, you know, three point. And, oh, I, I didn't show you. Let me take one more puff so I can show you this real quick. See, uh, and I blew the smoke away from the camera there so you could read that. It's at 4.0s. That's 4.0 seconds. So the puff I just took on that was 4.0 seconds. Um, every time you take a puff on it, it actually counts the number of seconds you are puffing. Um, and then whenever you let off, it stops and it stays there so you can read it, which is you know, pretty worthless, but uh, it's kind of a cool feature. So. Um, I mean, obviously this thing blows out clouds of smoke. This thing, uh, the atomizer I have on here read at what, 2.6 or something. I've got it 3.7 volts right now. Um, so I'm not overtaxing it or anything. I could probably turn it up a little bit higher, um, and get more vapor out of it. But I mean, overall a great device, um, and you can, can put out some huge clouds of smoke with this thing. I, I guarantee you, you pick it up, you'll like it. Um, we're selling it right now. It's priced at $104.95. That's the minimum price that we can sell it for based on the Joytech uh, pricing schedule. So uh, don't get mad at us, but uh, that is the absolute minimum that Joytech will allow. Uh, so we can't sell it any cheaper than that. Um, go ahead and pick one up though guys uh, it's it's a really great mod I've heard that this control head actually fits the Ego T um, 18650 battery tubes um, so if you already have one of those mod devices the Ego T mod devices uh, and you can just pick up the control head uh, screw it onto that battery tube now obviously that battery tube is a little more crude uh, it doesn't have the the venting hole it doesn't have you know 
Uh, the bottom cap uh, it doesn't you know have this little special piece up top the way it connects but it does work I have tried it it does work um, uh, I didn't try it for very long I basically screwed the control head on and tested it and it and it worked so I didn't use it for any extended period of time so I can't guarantee that that it's going to continue working flawlessly that way but um, uh, I do know that it does work so if you want a colored one that's you know one option and I'm sure Joytech will have colored tubes out uh, in the near future because that's what they tend to do. But thanks, guys. This is Dustin again from uh, MyFreedomSmokes.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, leave some comments if you have any questions about anything. Uh, I don't get onto YouTube a, every day, uh, but I do get on there at least about once a week or so. So I will get to your comments and, and answer them as I can. Um, and so feel free to, to leave a comment there. But uh, other than that, uh, check out the site, www.myfreedomsmokes.com, uh, and uh, give us a shout. Thanks. Bye.